In between storms, I'm gonna try to take a shower. I'm cold. I don't see feces anywhere, so that's promising. Very hot looking. Bye. If you guys have any knowledge on what animals or creatures will whistle at you at nighttime, I would appreciate the knowledge. I'm a little nervous. There it is, there's my camper. Hey. It did not burn down and it wasn't sucked up by a tornado. These were my irrational fears while I was gone. This is my first time coming home in two months. As you guys saw in one of my previous videos, I tried rat and mouse proofing it as much as possible. I think I did a good job, but this is gonna be the moment of truth. I'm either gonna walk into an absolute disaster or it'll be in pristine condition like I left it and it'll be great. I really think this is gonna dictate whether or not this video goes well or not. So it's been two entire months. You know how much damage rats could do in two months? Here comes the moment of truth. I'm kind of scared. It doesn't help that people keep telling me I'm gonna catch some horrible disease from the mice that keep coming inside. Okay, looking good so far. I don't see feces anywhere, so that's promising. It's a little dusty, but that's fine, expected. I don't see any poop. I see a brown spot from when I was eating chocolate, but my garden died. That kind of sucks, but yeah, that makes sense. I am pleasantly surprised by the condition of my camper right now. I guess all the holes that I sealed on the outside- hey, Not the face, not the face. Was the way that mice were getting in because there's no evidence of mice at all, which is awesome. And my water smells really bad. It smells like pee, straight up. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's not like you guys can smell it, but I just put some in this cup. Look at this. It even looks like pee, it's yellow. That might be from the pipes, or it might just be that my tank got some bacteria in it and it's been growing for the past two months. So I'm gonna pour some bleach in my tank and just flush it all out, just to be safe. It's gonna leave this running so that it can drain. I'll do it in my bathroom too, just so that it can go faster. Oh, it splashed on my face, oh gosh. Since I wanna refill the water, good thing that Austin and I, well mainly Austin, filled his truck with water, so we're just gonna transfer it over. It's starting to sound like it's struggling, so I'm gonna turn it off. Now that it's empty, we can fill it with clean water. I have a feeling it's gonna smell like bleach for a little bit, but that's fine. I'd rather it smell like bleach than pee. I totally didn't set up the camera. I'm gonna be filling up the water because Austin's busy working. It's fine, I'm just giving him a hard time because I know he's gonna watch this. My sister and her friend are flying over tonight because they're both pilots. I know, must be nice. So I need to make sure that everything is spick and span for them. used to this elevation it's getting me okay I am 7,000 feet up so it's kind of hard to get used to again after being gone now I just stand here for 20 minutes contemplating my choices there we go now we're talking time to set this up <sighs> my sister's friends gonna be sleeping in here Okay, cool. I'm ready to push. There's a bar on the ceiling you have to push on. Oh my gosh. Since we installed the wood on the ceiling, it has made it so heavy. And then this is how you lock it in place. This is like doing push-ups but on steroids. Okay. Oh no, it's falling back down. Okay. I need to shimmy my way back. This is my first time actually doing this, believe it or not. Actually, you probably can't believe it. Now this is set up for my sister's friend. We already washed all the sheets and everything. Only thing that I'm kind of worried about is that my sister's like me. We're very fine with very minimal things. We can sleep in a tent for a week and be completely comfortable. So with her friend, I've never I've never met this friend, and I know that she really hypes up the way that I live, so I'm hoping he is expecting what he's gonna get, if that makes sense. I hope he's not expecting to show up to a house and then I'm like, yep, here's your floor space. You have two feet. Do what you will with it. Don't sit up too fast or you bang your head. If you want a window, feel free to peel it back. So I just hope he knows what he's getting himself into because I have no other option. But I think I'll be perfectly fine. I really don't believe that that's level, but I guess we're gonna have to take it. It looks like it's slanting this way, right? Or am I tripping? I don't know. This is where my sister is gonna be sleeping tonight. I don't for the life of me know how to turn this into a bed. Good thing I still have the manual. Oh, yep, yeah, here. Maybe. C D G. Oh, I see a light with nothing in it. Why is that so stuck? You have to twist it? No. I'm scared. I'm putting my whole body into this. There you go. Okay. After trial and error. Where's G fucking come from? 
we got it made. Now I just need to dress it. It's not the prettiest, but it works. Um, my sister might be sleeping with the fridge tonight. I'm not quite sure. I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, the best place would be on that ledge right there, but I don't want to trip coming in and out of bed, so it might be in that corner. We'll see. She slept in this bed before, and last time that happened, it was in the winter, and she said that the fridge kept her really warm because it has vents on it that lets the heat out. So maybe she'll actually like it, I don't know. Next time we come back, we'll be with my sister. Hi. Look at my little property, isn't it so cute? I see a plane landing in the distance, but the fence is in the way, you can't see anything. Oh, there you go, you can see that smudge, yeah, that's my sister. At least I think that's her, there's been no one here at the airport for the past hour. They just got done pushing the plane. Now they're chaining it up. I guess this is the equivalent of parking a car. Um, that was actually the best landing I've done literally today. I did all three landings. We just got back, we're just going to bed, nothing special, and then we're waking up in the morning, dropping her back off. Um, but hanging out for a little bit in the meantime. So this is Hannah's sleeping oh. arrangement. Oh, okay girl. Both the dogs okay, girl. in the fridge. <laughs> okay, getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, good night Hans. Night. You comfortable? I am very comfy. Okay, I good. Love the doggos. Okay, good. It's freezing. This is Kong's first time using my shower. Oh gosh. It's real cold this morning, so I kind of feel bad, but we have hot water, so. That works. So Hannah was about to take a shower and the uh, shower tent <laughs> blew over. We on our way out. We have to climb over these tall mountains. But yeah, this is our plane here. It's a 152. We have our oxygen right here so that we can breathe. Very hot looking. Storage Behind hot. Hannah's seat, there's all this storage. Yep, and then, yeah. It's very minimal, but it's enough. But it should be a pretty fun flight. You can uh, see the next part in her video. Yeah, see the next part in my video. We're gonna watch them take off really quick, so I'm excited. Bye! Oh. Now look at that weather behind me. Yeah, it's been storming every 15 minutes, so in between storms, I'm gonna try to take a shower really quick. I'm using Austin's truck to do so. I would set up the shower tent, but it's there's too many gusts of wind and that thing will just blow away. I'm cold. This is the only thing I prefer about summer is that it's warm when you're taking showers. But right now, during the fall, it's pretty cold. A lot of nights on our property, oh, I'm trying to go through the hatch. We get really cool lightning storms, but they're off in the distance, so you don't really hear any thunder or anything, but you can watch it out the window. Yo, I'm scared. The storm has approached us. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's here. The lightning is right above us right now. And normally I wouldn't be too freaked out by that, but the camper is parked right under that metal car port. So I feel like it might attract lightning. <sighs> Good morning. This is the only angle that I'm able to get that you guys can actually see me due to the lighting issues. I mean, just look at this. It's Ridiculous. I'm doing my hair really quick. Some dry shampoo. Okay, delicious. All last night it was storming like crazy, but then around maybe 3 or 4 a.m. it stopped. So I went outside to go use the bathroom, keeping it classy, and it was terrifying. See this hill right here? Yeah, that thing's gotta be paranormal or something. There were whistling sounds coming from it and like kind of scream sounds coming from it. And I know what most animals sound like. I know what coyotes sound like. I know what mountain lions. Those are really the only things in the area, what they sound like. And it was not either of those. I don't know what it was, but coming from this hill right here. So from now on, I'll just hold it if I need to go to the bathroom. Um, this is terrifying. This is the vibe for today. A nice flannel. If you guys have any knowledge on what animals or creatures will whistle at you at nighttime while you use the bathroom, please let me know. I would appreciate the knowledge. Maybe I don't want to know. Maybe that's just freaky. I finally have an opportunity where it's not too windy outside so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying. I want to show you guys one of the plants that I have for the future. Stay out of the mud. <laughs> Go back. I will build a more permanent ladder to get up here. This is a little sketch. And here goes the wind. It's picking up. Just my luck. First, look at my property. Beautiful. Second, I think this would make a really cool porch up here. So I'm thinking just making this whole entire thing into a porch and then maybe a slide off into my garden because I want over there to be my garden. And then I want a zip line down to the bottom of my property. I know that's a little much, but I want to have fun with my property. Guess who finally got their YouTube plaque? 
me. The one that I had hung up is now on my wall in the back. But anyway, this is the end of this video, as you probably could imagine. I had a lot of fun with this video mainly just because my camper was in good shape after coming home after two months. As I said, I was really nervous that there was going to be some catastrophic thing that happened in here, but everything was perfectly fine, except for my water being gross, which I'll take. So honestly, this video couldn't have gone any better. I really enjoyed hosting my sister and her friend. Her friend was pretty awesome. He was a chill dude, and he was cool with showering outside and sleeping in the back of a truck, which made me happy. But yeah, overall, I had a fun time, and I'm glad that you guys came along with me and watched. Thank you for doing so. If you made it to this point in the video, please leave a heart emoji in the comments just so that I know you made it to this point. Um, I'll be sure to like all those comments and reply to them. And then also if you enjoyed this video please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Doing all three of those are free ways that you can help my channel out. Basically what it does is that it shows the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed my video and then the algorithm will push the video to more people. So quite literally it is a free way that you can help my channel out. I would really appreciate it. Once again if you can't think of a comment just a heart emoji. Makes it easy. We are almost at 140,000 subscribers which is crazy considering I just got this plaque a few months ago and this is a hundred thousand so thank you guys so very much it would not be possible without you but if you are not subscribed already hopefully you can and we can get to 140,000 subscribers that's my next goal we're actually pretty close so I'm really excited to reach that milestone and then 150 after that it's it's just crazy it really is so thank you guys so very much I really appreciate all of your support before I go I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel on patreon because of you I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer, but mostly the U.S. for right now. But I promise, I'm leaving soon, okay? I, I can't spoil it. And an extra special thank you goes to Fabian Verdmeller, Von Elg, Dan Mintzmoyer, Eric Huffman, Ronnie Joseph, Stefan Roshanak, Banshee, Caesar Osorio, Jay Redden, Marcus Navratil, Mark Lipman, Rob Swan, Scott Krutz, Chris Fortin, Brian Butterfield, MWP200, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate your support. If you would like to join, all the information is in the description, along with other ways that you can support my channel if you would like. I also have an OnlyFans, and I also have Instagram. I post on my Instagram almost every single day, so if you want to see my day-to-day -day life, that's a good place to check me out. And also, if you want to join my Patreon, it starts at $1 a month. I post a bunch of food content on there. I started doing that recently of different restaurants and food reviews. And then also, I post all of my videos a day early. So this video you're seeing today, you could have seen it yesterday so everyone on my patreon gets to see it early and kind of talk about what happened and give me advice and insight into the video i like posting my videos in there early just so that in case i messed up in editing or something people can point it out because people on patreon tend to be a little bit nicer um so if you want to be part of that community link is in the description i'm also thinking about uploading story time videos on there because believe it or not you guys don't know much about me as a person but i have some really insane stories from my childhood, and by childhood I mean up until I was 18. So if you guys wanna hear some of those and get to know me better as a person, I can definitely do that, but that'll be on my Patreon because they are kind of personal stories. But if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I will start doing that. And also I put your name at the end of the video as you guys saw. That's also a perk of Patreon. But the advertisement is over for that. And then lastly, before I go, I just want to give a shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. We've been working with them for a while now and we have raised over 10 grand. Once again, it's kind of hard for me to gauge how much exactly we've raised because not everyone sends me receipts. So they're very appreciative of all the money we have raised for them. So I'll also leave that in the description as well just to make it easy for you. You can donate $1, $2, 5 bucks, whatever you want. The reason that I'm supporting this organization is because my best friend, Millie passed away a little over a year ago and it was due to cancer and I just don't want her passing away in vain so I figured that this would be a good way to honor her memory so this is just something I've been doing since so if you need a little bit of motivation to donate maybe you can do it in Millie's name but basically what the Cancer Research Institute is doing is they're trying to train your immune system to fight cancer at its source which is pretty freaking awesome oh okay see even he's excited about it if you're also excited about it donate okay I'm done pushing things on you guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, in my next video, I should be doing some projects now that I'm back in the property. I need to prepare for winter because I'm trying to stay here for the winter, for most of the winter, I should say, and then part of the winter I'm going to another country keeping that a secret as of now but i have a lot of cool plans coming up but we need to make this camper ready for winter and then by next spring we're actually going to be building a house of some sort i say house because it won't be traditional it'll be something weird and different with that said i love you guys i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it um my job would not be possible without you so thank you thank you thank you yeah okay take care
Bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video.